Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So yesterday, a start of our tenure here at Ashton Gate, and we continued the form that had been going before. But today, can we make a change to that form? We have two games in order to do it, one of which is a seven-side derby. Welcome to episode two of To Be A Legend. My name's Mark, and on today's episode, we have two games for you. First of all, both at home, I should add. Uh, first of all, against Cardiff City in the Championship, and uh, then Birmingham City also in the Championship. Both games, as I say, are at home today. Nothing has happened since you were last with us because we played Blackburn and Peterborough being our first uh, games here at the club. Um, and... And I hasten to add, um, we've come back pretty early for the Cardiff seven-side derby uh, televised match on Boxing Day. So here we are, theoretically two uh, years in from when we took over at Farsley Celtic. And uh, we are not doing particularly well. Um, <laughs> we've only had two games, so don't, don't, don't blame me. Don't blame me. Um, we are bottom of the table now. Uh, games around us have uh, gone on, and uh, we are now five points adrift of Luton Town in 21st, uh, and above us immediately Portsmouth on 20 and Reading on 22. So we need to dig ourselves out of this quagmire very, very quickly. Um, and, uh, of course, we have the uh, um, transfer window coming up we do have a bit of money in the pot there is about eight eight million there but we're the big problem as i think we've said before is we are well overspent on wages so uh, that is going to cause us uh, probably the biggest headache the biggest problem in all of this right um i don't think there's a lot more to tell you um other than we are going to get on with the episode and we'll see if we can beat um, our arch rivals across the water, uh, the seven side derby against Cardiff City. And here is the team that will face Cardiff in this seven side derby. It's Bentley and Gull, Pring, Congolo, uh, Nelson, Moore, Williams, and James in midfield with Odauda, Masanga, uh, Masengo, and Bola in our attacking midfield. Semenyo plays up. Front, Cairns, Townsend, Freeman, Jenner, Fisher, Gape and Dak are all on the bench for this one. And here we are at Ashton Gate. Really don't want to know that, that we've lost the last five games. Cardiff City won three, lost two of their last five. Playing a 4-4-2, conventional 4-4-2. We also don't want to see that. Right at the bottom of the table there. Cardiff currently on ninth. A four o'clock kickoff on Boxing Day. All the other games kicked off at three. And we have an early corner. Freeman with the corner. It's headed uh, down and uh, penalty, I think. There is an early penalty. Just three minutes in. And it's Luke Freeman. With the penalty, we get a goal in front after three minutes. He's first of the season, Luke Freeman. And uh, what a time to uh, to score it from that uh, infringement from the corner. I'm not sure what happened. I'm not sure we can go back and have a look, really. Here's the corner. Let's see if we can spot what the infringement was. I think that's it there. Whoever our player is here. And I think it's Donnelly. Nope. Still can't get him. And Nelson, he was uh, infringed 
he was jumped upon and uh that is what's what caused the penalty and there'll be some questions raised about the referee no doubt let's go back to live glad we settled what was uh, the root cause there they have a corner now holland with the corner and it's headed over the top bentley i'd like to think had that covered ring with the throw in on this near side to freeman freeman goes to nelson nelson to moore bowler more williams williams gets that four for semenio chip the goalkeeper but just too much on it and uh we could have gone two up there that would have been really interesting and they've given the ball away semenio he scored this time it was such a hard hard hit smithies in the uh cardiff goal couldn't hold on to the ball and we go two up after 11 minutes might even be 12 minutes yeah it's gone into 12 minutes it will show on the stats but it's just past the 11 minute mark and semenio scores i didn't see how many he'd scored this season i was too excited by the fact that we'd gone two up but still early doors not even a quarter of an hour gone and uh, we need to oh we need to be very careful they're going to get back in here but bentley gets a hand to it and diverts it over the top We have to remember is we're not the expert side to writing these games off. Corner from the other side, and it's uh, equaliser from Simmer. It's not an equaliser at all. I'd forgotten that we'd scored a second goal. <coughs> Um, but Simmer on the near post, and they get one back on the half hour mark there or thereabouts. They have had a lot more chances than us, and they have more of the possession as well. Half time is going to arrive, and we're still noses in front at the moment. 2 1 as it currently stands. Um, we we'll probably need to go and have a look and see what we can do just to uh, shore this up for the second half. And here's the team that will face uh, Birmingham in this uh, second championship game of the episode. It's pretty much the side that uh, played and beat um, Cardiff City in our first game of the episode. Bentley in goal, Pring, Congolo, Nelson and Viner uh, has come in on the right-hand side for Fisher. Um, and Williams and James are in midfield. How we ended up the game, really. Um, Jenna, Masengo and Bola are our attacking midfield with uh, Semenyo up front on the bench. We have Cairns, Townsend, Odalda, Dak, Fisher, Freeman and Harris. And we're underway for this first half here at Ashton Gate against Birmingham. They've gone eight games unbeaten. Birmingham. Uh, we're hoping that we can turn it on today. Pring with the throw in to Masango, but he's uh, beaten by the uh, defender who really that ball telegraphed. And uh, since then, we've not won the ball back. 
And it's a bit of a worry. There's Colin has got a bit of an overlap on here. But Viner was there, headed it back to Congolu. And Bentley clears the ball upfield. Masengo doing his midfield role. Semenyo has dropped deep. Bowler. Bowler into the area. Crosses it deep for Williams. And uh, Matty Williams fires that one over the top. But uh, still being creative. That's the main thing. We're having shots and we're getting them on target. Sooner or later, we've surely got to strike gold. Kevin Stroud is the uh, referee. Spring with the throw into Masengo. Not going to get caught this time. Williams to Masengo. Back to Williams. Crosses the ball into the area. Semenyo's there. Bowler. Tries to get his shot away. It is uh, blocked. And the second time it's blocked. Viner, that defender, is obviously... And he's been fouled by Bieler out on that far side. A free kick will ensue. James tries to get it in. Didn't get it into the area. Mighty James. And it came to nothing. A bit disappointing. Semenyo picking up a yellow card up front. And he's not playing particularly well. Matty James with a corner. Nelson! And his first goal of the season, Ben Nelson. Matty James, a lovely corner right on his head and bulleted into the back of the net. Cushioned header. And we go one up. After, well, just, just ahead of uh, half time, 44 minutes. I'm um, not going to make any changes at this stage. And... Uh, I think we've had a reasonably good first half. 15 shots, 8 on target, hitting my 50%, 1.47, 58% possession. Birmingham have had three shots, two of which are on target, but they are uh, only 0 0.23 on the XG. We just need to, to deliver a, a very similar second half, and I think we could get another win under our belts. Fingers crossed. Come back and join us second half. No changes at half time that I'm aware of. The only thing we've done is tweet. Uh, Semenyo has gone out on the left. Jenna has gone up front. Throw in here. And it's cleared to Semenyo. Semenyo comes away with the ball. Holding the ball up. Looking for Pring. But <laughs> miss, completely missed Pring. Conga logo. Nelson. Back to Bentley. Bentley's going to fire one long. Looking for Jenna. And nowhere near it. But Williams picks it up in midfield. Over the top looking for Semenyo. Semenyo crosses it for Bowler. But the defender gets there before him. But it's still alive. Pring. Out on that far side. Crosses the ball. Looking for Jenna. Jenna not jumping for these balls. But he's won the ball this time. Viner. Viner is going to cut it back for Matty James. Matty James to Viner. Viner crosses the ball this time. Semenyo's whacked it against the crossbar. And Pring will tidy that up, but uh, nothing come of it. We've still got a highlight. Pring. Williams getting it out to him. Pring's going to hold that ball up. Williams. Pring. Semenyo heads it down. Ball just wide from Matty James. says Semenyo has taken a knock. In fact, he's injured. Potential groin injury. That's not good news. So Callum O'Dowder is the obvious switch for him. Can play as an inverted winger, which we will do. Hopefully Semenyo won't be out for any length of time. Knocks our attacking options somewhat. I was just looking, just checking to make sure we didn't want to make any more changes. 64 minutes in, a little bit earlier than our normal change time. Long throw into Bowler. Bowler trying to get his shot away, but I think, again, that defender is, is marking him. And every time he's trying to get a shot away, there's a block gone in. It's um, not been very fruitful. Right. Let's not give anything away against the run of play here. We're not pressing very hard, are we? Yeah, 
holding the ball and uh, frustrating us at the minute. Long ball launched forward. And it's headed across. Nelson didn't get there. So we're looking for a tall defender in the transfer window. Come on, boys. Ah. Uh... That has got to be against the run of play. I mean, we've been all over them. Luton Town have gone two up. Harry Connick, the scorer there, and he's just asking for it. Twenty-one shots, eight on target, and they've only had three and two, and it just doesn't make any sense. Um, right. Uh, 70 minutes in, I think what we're going to do is we're starting to get tired again now. This is the problem. At the moment, they're not fit. And uh, I need to crank it up. Matty James to Masengo. Masengo finds Nelson. Viner. Masengo crosses the ball in. Uh, missed everybody and Bowler wasn't really there. Adalda back to Bowler. Bowler crosses it in. It's, it's offside. Uh. I'm not sure for a minute whether we were actually out of the relegation zone. I didn't look. Pring with the throw in to O'Dowda. O'Dowda back out to Pring. Pring crosses the ball. Oh, just over the top from Jenner. And 77 minutes has come. I think it's time to have a look at some changes. Um. Odalda's come on. Masengo's not playing badly. But nobody's playing badly, and it seems just Bowler probably is the one that's lacking, but I've got to find somebody to go out there. Kidam Harris is the only one on the bench. happens if we change them two over ball is not so good on that side oh we need something to give us that little bit Josh Bowler is the tired one Masango can't play out there Bradley Dak can come on but he's really not the most ideal player Luke Freeman can play out there I've just realized uh, in which case let's um, let's bring Luke Freeman on in that position yeah I think that's a good swap actually thinking about it we will make that one change for the moment everybody else is playing okay just need somebody that pulls something out of the bag or do we take Masango off I tell you what we're gonna do we can drop Masengo to where Williams is and Williams we will take off and bring on Bradley Dak in that attacking playmaker role just to see Masengo is a lot better in that position actually uh, let's just see if that changes it up go out there and make a difference looking for this winning goal in front for so long had them under the cosh still got them under the cosh Freeman to Masengo who's given the ball away and they've got a break on here. We're in danger of giving it away. Oh, no, 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 no. That is... That's because we've gone attacking, I know. Oh, dear. We were looking so good. So in control. And... Oh dear. Oh dear, 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 dear. Do we need to make a final change?
Um, we don't have a lot of options, do we? Dak, Bradley Dak would be the person to go up front for Jenna, but um, Alamo Dad has come on and he's not really functioning on all uh, all cylinders. Maybe we turn him into it and then do that swap over that way around. Or do we just make Alamo Dad a, a winger? Perhaps maybe that's the that's the answer. Um, we're going to go back to attacking because we've got nothing to lose now. I've I've probably blown it by keeping them on the attacking for too long, looking for that uh, that goal, and we're going to lose this game, which is going to be so annoying. I can't fault the players; they've given it everything. We should have won that game. Uh, just poor defending, and that's one of the areas we need to uh, we need to sort out. Twenty seven shots, nine on target. We didn't uh, get so many on target in that second half. Uh, but uh, they've had six, five shots on target. We are XG's far better. We've had a lot of the possession. We've just been the better side and been caught out. How does that affect the table? We were on the bottom. We're still going to be on the bottom. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it could have been a lot worse. Uh, we are still on the bottom. Uh, three points adrift of Peterborough. Um, three points adrift of Reading. Three points adrift of Notts uh, Forest. And Portsmouth have pulled themselves out of that now. And Luton pulled away as well. Uh, Luton we do have coming up very, very shortly. I know that's one of the games that we've got coming up. Um, but we are three points. We just we need to string two or three wins. And that was a classic opportunity. If we could have strung that win together, uh, two wins together there with what we've got coming up in the, uh, in the next couple of games. If we have a quick look at what's coming up uh, before the next episode, we had the Luton Town game. Uh, who are currently 18th now, Portsmouth, who are 20th. Um, to be honest, it, we could have strung four wins together there, would have uh, pro propelled us up the uh, up the table. So we're going to have to, uh, we're still going to have to beat these two if we can and build a bit of momentum going into these games. But of course, as we get into these games, it's it gets somewhat tidally difficult. Um, we're going to uh, pull ourselves out of it. Uh, right. Um, we will come back on our next episode. We're going to play Luton Town and Portsmouth offline. We're going to come back and play Leeds and Crystal Palace in the next episode on FA Cup third round tie. And um, uh, a championship game against Crystal Palace. I don't really want to get embroiled too much in the FA Cup uh, this season because I think we've got to concentrate on getting ourselves out of that relegation zone and uh, and surviving this year. Uh, and then uh, doing a, a good build in the summer for next season. But uh, transfer window starts uh, when we come back. We'll have a couple of weeks of the transfer window, so we'll see how we're getting on, whether we've made any inroads. Um, I need to have a good look at the side and uh, decide where we need to, uh, to shore things up everywhere, I think, pretty much. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button. Keep you up to date with all future episodes of this and new series as they are released. Uh, new episodes of To Be A Legend currently released every Saturday and Sunday at 11am. If you want to keep up to date with what's happening on this channel and more, you need to follow me on Twitter at Just Offside. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you for the next episode. It's out tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Uh, it'll be episode three. Until then, it's a very good bye.